Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty as we round out season three here on the channel. This is the episode two submit your recruits and honestly you guys have been so good with this portion and submitting storylines and your players personalities and stories and we're going to be looking to continue that here as we move into season four in this episode we will be rounding out this season so i definitely want to get a lot of nice players going into next season so remember to follow the template in the description and uh like i said only midwest recruits so remember that when creating your guy because it will be important when selecting who is going to be on the recruiting list next season but looking at the conference standings, we are in second place in our division behind Navy. And wow, I think they might actually end up taking it because I believe they round out the season playing Army and Tulsa. So two teams that they can easily beat. Maybe Army will give them a loss, but Army is not in our conference. So it won't really matter as far as the conference championship goes. So let's kick off this game with the ball. Here is Nathan Beaver out at quarterback. Adam Miller is going to play a lot in this game, but here's a throw across the middle. That is going to be Brett Hill. And Brett Hill has definitely taken a lot of receptions and yards away from Marlon Yarbrough, and that's kind of what we wanted. We wanted Yarbrough to kind of relax a little bit, still have the impact, but definitely it's been easier to throw the ball this season because we've had multiple guys at receiver who can get it done. So second and three, throw to the end zone. That's Brett Hill again. Adam Miller's in the game for that throw, and he finds his favorite target. No, that's actually Nathan Beaver's favorite target, but he's open nonetheless in the end zone. It's 7-0 early on. So nice opening drive by this Wisconsin State offense. As here is Kenny Gainwell coming back out onto the field on a screen pass, and they're not going to get the first down on that third down attempt. And we get the punt right back as Beaver's right back on the field. Throw to the left side. That's Doug Johnson. He gets open for a 16-yard gain for the junior. And that's a big first down. So second and six handoff up the middle. There is Jabari Blaze fighting forward, almost getting the first down on that one. As he gets the carry right back and is going to pick up one-yard gain. He's tripped up on that one. He kind of could have possibly broke that one free for a bigger gain. But now it's a first and ten under center. Here's the blitz, scrambling out to the right side. Beaver picks up a lot of room on that one. That's a gain of 25. And you always, you already know that Nathan Beaver is athletic. He picks up the big first down. So here's Doug Johnson on the next play. He's gonna get into the end zone, eight yards out for the touchdown. And we're looking good so far on the road versus Memphis. We wanna kind of boost this resume, keep winning th these conference games. And it's looking good early. It's 14 to nothing. So here's Connor Adair throwing out to the right side. He's got Timothy Taylor out of the backfield. But that's only a gain of four. Look at our defense just balling out here as we force yet another punt. So here's our offense now. Back out onto the field. Can we make it 21 nothing? It's a good start there. Chris Coretta with the 11-yard catch. So here is Beaver scrambling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way. Doug Johnson's open again. He's getting it to about the 33-yard line. That is a gain of 17 for the junior. So now from the shotgun, second and 10. This time Beaver faces pressure from the left side. He's going to find a way to the outside. He's going to pick up a gain of 13 and a first down as Nathan Beaver's doing it with his legs this game. So now, first and 10, counter play out to the right side. Jabari Blaze got some room. He picks up a couple of blocks, and he's going to get to the outside, but a gain of 10 for him. And Memphis just cannot stop this offense early on as we wind down this first half here, three minutes left. Here is Miller in the game, but he can't get away. He does not have the speed of Beaver, and he gets sacked for a loss of about 10, and we do eventually settle for that field goal. So now it's a 17-0 game here. It's Connor Adair back on an offense, and they finally pick up a first down here. That's their first first down of the game, and that is going to be 
inside of our own territory now inside the 30 Adair from the shotgun he's gonna scramble out to left side he's gonna make a move on Zane Alexander and get taken down by Shaq Royal but a gain of 10 as we get under a minute left here in the first half Adair throw to the left side he's got Parks and he's picking up seven yards as now they are inside the 10 for a third and inches Adair he's gonna try to scramble he's gonna pick up the first and take a big hit that time from James Cheney and now they are inside the five as Adair throws up to the right side. He's got Tice Daniel for a two-yard touchdown reception. And they at least get on the board as we head into the second half. So Memphis does start out with the ball. Here is Adair handing it off this time. Gainwell picks up a great block, throws off Nathan Beaver, who's in at safety on that play, and he gets a gain of 11. So Beaver is still at safety. This time, Gainwell, counter play out to left side. Beaver is going to run him down and tackle him at about the 13-yard line. But now Memphis is getting right back in this game with good running, with a good running attack. Here's a carry out to the right side. Gainwell gets a couple of blocks, and he's going to fight his way in for the touchdown, 14 yards out. And now Memphis trims this lead down to just three points. So now here in the middle of the third quarter, here is Chris Coretta getting the catch wide open on that one, 14 yards on the play action fake. That is a first down. Chris Coretta is one of those guys that has possibly taken a step back, and you might be able to contribute that to Adam Miller being out because Adam Miller is more of a gunslinger quarterback as he picks up a 10-yard carry on that one, and that brings up Nathan Beaver into the game. Here is Jacoby Beck. The receiver turned running back. Hasn't really seen the field too much. He got injured, remember, earlier in the season. And honestly, Jabari Blaze hasn't given that job back. So here is Chris Coretta open across the middle of the field. He picks up seven yards as that moves us inside the five-yard line under center here. Two tight ends. Hand off. Jabari Blaze. He's in. Touchdown. And like I said, Blaze has just not given up the job at all. He's been running tough ever since. He got his opportunity. So now we're on to the fourth quarter. Here is Connor Adair at quarterback. He's going to throw the ball deep down the middle of the field. That is almost going to be picked off by Cam Duvano. Remember, he had that huge game when we replaced uh, our safety in, I think it was a third game of the season. And I think that, you know, he's just making progression, getting better each week, especially in coverage. He's known more as a tackling safety, as a kind of in the box safety, but he's been playing pretty well at the free these last few games. So now Memphis makes it inside the 20 yard line as they are looking to get on the board once again. Throw across yeah. the middle, it's Gainwell who bounces off of two tacklers. That includes Nathan Beaver. He gets ran over on defense. And now it's a three point game once again as Memphis is staying in this one as Beaver is back out onto the field, throwing to the left side. That's gonna be Chris Coretta. He picks up about a gain of one. And now we move it to about the 33 yard line. We need to get into field goal range. Here's Beaver on a third and eight, scrambling out to the right side. He makes a move inside, breaks the tackle. He's got an open lane to the end zone. He's gonna make it in. Touchdown, 35 yards out for Nathan Beaver. And wow, he's showing the athleticism playing both sides of the ball this game. And wow, he makes it a two score lead once again. So Memphis under two minutes left. They do drive down the field and at least get one more score on the board, but they do have to kick the onside kick to stay in this game. And here is the kick and we are going to recover this one. And we will eventually go on to win this game as Memphis actually put up a good fight I mean we were up 17 nothing to start this game and ended with a three-point victory as Nathan Beaver only has to throw 12 passes in this game and he threw for one touchdown Adam Miller throws for a touchdown as well and I kind of like the way they're playing quarterback together Nathan Beaver is the run threat you really saw that in this game Jabari Blaze almost gets 100 but I honestly like this offense right now. We are clicking on all cylinders. No selfishness. Everybody touches the ball, but Yarbrough only finished with one catch for seven yards in this one. But we don't get any 
big time sacks in this game only one sack and we didn't come up with any turnovers really so we're gonna look to build on that going into next game so we do face two lane in new orleans and remember there is a story to this one Trayvon Davis is now the starter for Tulane. His dad, Troy Davis, is now the head coach there as well. But they've not had a great season at all. Their only win in conference comes against Navy, the team that is probably slated to beat us out for that first place in the division. But Trayvon Davis is not having a good year. 12 touchdowns to 22 interceptions. Let's play our old pal here. So here is Trayvon Davis here to start this game out from the shotgun as they come out with three wide receivers out there. Here's a handoff up the middle. This time, Amon, that's Jones, Amari Jones up the middle on the draw play. He's picking up 10 yards. So here's Davis on the next play. Handoff up the middle. He's got Jones again. That is a loss of four, and that brings it to a third and four. Davis on the next play throws across the middle. It's going to be picked off Zane Alexander, who is leading our team in interceptions this season. He gets his fourth on the season, and that is going to be a turnover already for our former quarterback. So now we come back out onto the field. Here is Beaver starting this game out, throwing to the right side. That's going to be Marlon Yarbrough for a gain of five. So now third and six. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Chris Coretta, who's getting open. 17 yard gain on that one and it's a first down so now at about the 30 yard line they're sending a blitz and look who's out there it's beaver at receiver he's playing everywhere as adam miller finds him for a big gain of 20. so now we get inside the 10 yard line here's beaver dropping back and nobody's open he gets sacked on that one the pocket collapses as now we make it a third and goal from about the 20 and once again the pressure gets in and two lane forces us to kick the field goal but we start out this game three to nothing so here's trayvon davis looking to bounce back from that interception on the last drive here's a throw across the middle it's picked off again on the first play of the next drive and that is tucker akonkwo the leader of this defense and that's three in two incompletions two interceptions here for trayvon davis so now we start off this next drive on the other side of the 50. Here's a catch, here's a run up the middle that time by Jacoby Beck. And he has his first carry for 10 yards. So here is Beaver faking it out to the right side. He's gonna take it himself. We weave to the outside. He's gonna get hit at about the one yard line. And now we got it to a first and goal. Handoff up the middle, and the big uglies don't even get in there. It's Jabari Blaze. And it's a 10-point lead as man our defense has set up two easy drives so now a penalty does move them back on the next drive here on a second and 24 screen pass and that's out to the left side and amari jones is stopped so third and 23 we're sending a little bit of a blitz here's a throw to the left side and that is going to be incomplete this two lane offense comes as advertised they do not look good so now we do force that punt on that next drive. Here's Adam Miller in the game. He throws to the left side. He's got Brett Hill for a nine-yard touchdown or a nine-yard catch for the first down. So now second and six. Throw across the middle. It's going to be Rodney Ross. He's open. Nine yards for him as well. He moves the chains. So now a first and ten. Here is Beaver now in the game. Throw out to the left side. He's got Brett Hill who tries to make a move and gets tackled. At about the 17-yard line as this defense is not playing good as well. They're giving up yardage after yardage. So here on a second and six, here's a quick throw out to the right side. Rodney gets it again, and he has seven yards for that one. And the one thing I love about Ronnie Ross, he is not the highest-rated guy on the roster, but he just finds a way to get it done. And here's a dump-off pass to the right side. It's Jacoby Beck. And wow, I mean... So many weapons on this offense. Everybody touches the ball. That's the type of year we were looking for, and it's worked. We're 7-4, and four, and now up 17 nothing here on the road. Is here is Trayvon Davis in a little bit of trouble. He gets sacked that time by Jamison, and now it's a second and 15. Under two minutes left here in the first half. Throughout to the left side. He's got Valian, who gets tackled by Cam Duvano, 
then that brings up a third and nine. Under center this time, Trayvon Davis. I'm going to drop back to pass. Four guys out there. He's going to throw the ball deep. He's going to be picked off by Cam Duvano. Take a look at how this play develops as we send the bluff blitz here from Tucker Conquo and look at the offensive linemen. They get jumbled up there trying to block three guys, but we're only sending two. And we drop back in coverage with Conquo, and that leaves a wide open lane for Zane Alexander to get in, and it forces the bad throw. And now we take back over it under a minute left here in the first half. Here's a throw to the left side. That's Brett Hill who's getting open here as that's a gain of 13 as we bring it to eight seconds left here in the first half. Just trying to get some points on the board. We're already inside a field goal range. Let's get an easier field goal as here is Beaver scrambling out to the right side, gain of 15 as we do line up for the field goal before the end of the first half. And wow, the domination in this game is real. It's 20 nothing. three interceptions in the first half for Trayvon Davis. It doesn't look good for him going into the second half. So here we are to start the second half. Here is Beaver with a throw across the middle. That's going to be Marlon Yarbrough open once again. And that is a gain of about 20 on that catch. So now first and 10 running Brett Hill in motion. This time Adam Miller's in the game, but he can't get rid of it. He tries to get rid of it to Brett Hill across the middle, but it's too late. He loses a gain of 17 or seven. So now third and 17 throughout to the right side. It's going to be Chris Coretta. He gets 16 of those yards back, but we're going to line up to go for it here. Be aggressive here in this game. Read option. Here's a triple option actually. Pitch out to the left side and Tulane yeah, plays yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Picture perfect as Jacoby Beck gets tackled right away after the pitch. So now here comes Trayvon Davis back gotcha, onto the field. Hasn't been able to do anything, and he can't do anything once again. It's Marvin Woods with the tackle on that play. So here's a carry out to the right, left side. It's going to be Jones, and he's got a gain of about four, but now that brings it to a third and eight. This is where they've been ugly in this game. Davis throw to the right side. It's incomplete. 18 yards Throwing the ball for Trayvon Davis in this game. It has just not been good here for our former quarterback. So here we are back out on offense. Just trying to move the ball down the field and put this game out of reach as we get the ball to about the 50. Handoff up the middle. That's Jabari Blaze fighting forward for a gain of eight. So now second and two. Handoff to the right side. That's going to be Jabari. He's going to fight forward to the first down marker. He moves it to about the 32 yard line so first and 10 we're going to run it once again here's Jabari Blaze lined up behind Be Beaver he's going to fight forward and he's going to pick up an 11 yard gain on that one and man we are just doing whatever we want on both sides of the ball as Beaver hands it off once again to Jabari he picks up only a gain of four I didn't realize that was a third down on that play and we ran it on accident but we do come away with points and make it a 23 to nothing game gotcha, bitch. so here is Trayvon Davis on the next drive just trying to do anything but Derek and Pinto is there for the sack so second and 15 here another gotcha, three wide receiver set out on the field and it's gonna be another sack Marvin Woods his second sack of the game so now third and 17 we're just sending the pressure on every play he that. throws to the right side it's picked off Elgin Lloyd his fourth interception thrown of the game for Trayvon Davis he almost has pretty much all of it he has more straight up in interceptions than he does just regular incompletions he has three incompletions four interceptions making it a three for ten day so now, here we go, under three minutes left. Just trying to put some points on the board, get our offense going into next week. It could be the conference championship, or it could be a bowl game. We don't know where our next game will land, but we're looking like we're headed to an eight and four record here as our offense is looking good, clicking on all cylinders. No turnovers in both games here as Adam Miller throws to the end zone, and he's gonna find his old favorite receiver Marlon Yarbrough and it feels good to find him in the end zone for Adam Miller and he just makes it a 30 to nothing game as we are going to go on to shut out Tulane 
and go 2-0 and in this episode and move on to an 8-4 record. What a season it's been for this team. The improvement from these last two years not even being bowl eligible to being 8-4 and this season has been dramatic. And, I mean, man, I got to say, our defense balled out in this game four sacks and four interceptions. I mean, they just couldn't do anything. And to be honest, Troy Davis's job could be on the hot seat after being shut out at home. Look at the stadium. I mean, there's nobody even in the stadium to watch this game. I mean, that's just the type of season that they're having in Trayvon Davis. I mean, he just looked awful. Four incompletions and four interceptions. I mean, that should just say enough right there. So that's going to do it here in this episode. Make sure to get your recruit submissions in. I will be checking those out. And just look at this. 44 total yards of offense for Tulane. I mean, that defense just balled out this game. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.